The following game has no ESRB rating, nor is there a listing of any sort of restrictive content that may appear in the game. However, I do know for a fact that it does include violence, bloodshed, explosions, fire, and the death of people and various animals. So if I were to guess as to what its rating would be, I would say either teen or mature. So that being said, viewer discretion is advised, and I recommend that anyone under the age of 13 not watch the following video. You have been warned. Greetings and salutations. I am Outlier, and I bid you welcome to this channel. Joining me today is, of course, my usual co-hosts, Snowball and Wolf. And today we are returning back to RimWorld. No, this still isn't Ringworld. You're not supposed to say it out on camera, it would give future plans away. So the premise of Ringworld is usually that you're given control of a small to medium sized group of colonists landed on a far flung uh, world at the edge of known space and you have to basically build a colony, provide for the colonists' needs, and uh, play for as long as possible while the game uh, keeps coming up with new and even more inventive and even crazier ways to kill everybody. Yes, yes, you should see it with some of the harder difficulties. But anyway, that's how most people play. I've been role-playing my colonists as a band of heavily armed and armored uh, space marines that were sent to this planet to fight the local pirate faction. I've had mostly mixed results. Yes, there's that. So that was a small recap of what I've been doing so far. Hopefully, uh, this time things will improve. Yeah, that's true. But you never know. And if all else fails and the game tries to cheat, that's what reloading is for. I've said this before and will say it again. As long as the CPU cheats, I will stack the deck in my favor in pretty much any way possible that I can. Anyway, this game is of course made by... Thank you again, and uh, with that being said, let us begin and continue on with the uh, ever-changing chronicles of the 789th Mechanized Infantry Combat Team. Yes, I remember that part this time. Okay, so I would say if we pause it for a bit, but it is currently paused. Uh, I'm currently facing animal starvation because... I don't have enough grain for kibble. Or meat for that matter. Because they keep eating all the food, all the cooked meals. 
So anyway, um, this is currently my new base, or at least it will be once, if and when they ever actually get around to finishing construction. Uh, this is the old base, FOB Antioch, I believe I called it. If I switch to the world view, I have a medical emergency and extreme break risk, probably because everybody's actually starving. Severe illness, Monica. What is Monica's problem? Toxic buildups and blood loss. She's also suffering from trivial malnutrition. She's had her nose shut off, left eye crushed, and right pinky destroyed. Because this game is like inflicting horrific casualty, uh, horrific and horrific injuries upon my people. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, this is FOB, well, this is FOB Antioch. If I can remember which button scrolls. And uh, this is the old base. This was a pirate stronghold that I took. Uh, the first one, actually. Second one was is now this ruins up here. And uh, next one is FOB Chestling. Yeah, Chestling. Blame the auto name generator for that one. But uh, anyway, it's in the process of construction. So story why I moved out here is because the um, CPU decided to cast a toxic plume upon this area. In fact, you can see quite a few skeletons from uh, that whole mess. In fact, the particular land is still rebounding from that. But um, I was having trouble with food, and uh, I decided that rather than you know sticking it out here and having to fight my way through things, Why did I put... I don't remember. It's been a while since I last played this. Anyway, uh, and so I came out here originally looking for food and then realized part of the uh, role-playing element that I'm doing is that these guys are supposed to be mobile. So I decided to build an entire city out here. Yeah. Yeah, it played out better in my head but this is what I'm currently doing and I'm slowly trying to move everything from here uh, to here it's slow going slower than I would like uh, I'm thinking about just taking what I absolutely positively need and just lighting everything else on fire because part of the role-playing aspect is that when I move a base I leave nothing behind of use also other role-playing bits is if we go to the archived quest and look at ship to the stars uh, this is our evac point, so end game goal is to get from, uh, where are we? Ah, here we are. From here, all the way uh, to here. And if we check the auto planner for this time, click here, where Chesling is. And go here where this little flag thingy is it would take us 56.1 days by going south down and around probably be faster if I could travel the water but uh, you can't travel the water so there's that also in guards of quest if uh, you know say the fallen empire which is I'm sorry not the fallen empire the refugee empire uh, which is the Imperial Faction, uh, the Shattered Empire Faction for this map. If they offer a quest, I can't take it for royal favor because my uh, Space Marines work for an organization called the uh, Commonwealth. Yeah, I think that's what I called it. Moot point on that front. But uh, since they work for somebody else, they can't take uh, jobs with another empire. So, that's the overarching rules in the nutshell. So, on to more pressing concerns. Food and shelter. So, I do have... Potatoes aren't close to being grown, nor is the corn. Uh, key roots, nowhere near complete. Uh, strawberries are nowhere near complete. Why is Ophelia just sleeping on the ground? You know what, I don't want to know why Ophelia just sleeping on the ground. I'm sure there's an important reason for that, but uh, probably because of the fact I don't actually have many beds in 
the sleeping and bedrolls in what would eventually be the um, dining hall. The rec room being here, actual lodgings here, uh, armory here, prisons will eventually go here. No, this is going to be the medical bay. This will be uh, the armory and then this will be the crafting hall. This will be general storage and this will be the barn. And somewhere I'm going to need to build a facility to build batteries. Also, kitchen, refrigerator, farms. Outer Perimeter Defensive Network Edge of Map Beyond the Edge of Map Everywhere else Okay, we good? Okay, moving right along. So, we have animal starvation, people starvation, just general starvation all over the place. Uh, I am in the process of hunting, well, stuff. Take these squirrels as well. I should probably get a kill team together to kill all, to hunt down the mega sloths and rhinoceri. So rhinoceroses, rhinoceri, I should call them rhinoceri. Uh, just simply because they're large, big animals and probably filled with meat. A side note, uh, these two are still injured. I believe they shot each other. Somebody bit him in the eye. I don't want to know. Anyway. I'm sorry, somebody bit her in the eye. Yeah, I don't want to know. So who is missing their... There we are. See, I think I put this here at stockpile here because uh, the charge rifle. Also suffering extreme break risk of Chief and Jet. Jet's probably going to be a problem because when he gets angry, he starts killing people. And, uh, badly malnourished. Uh, badly malnourished. Well, I should probably fix that. And Chief is at extreme, uh, Break risk because he's chief, and you know, it rains on a day he wants sun. He go he has a psychotic break. And Yoko is heavily injured because apparently she got in a fist fight with an ibex. I'm assuming she won because she's still alive. But everybody's hungry. Everybody's asleep. It is 84 degrees inside. I did not put in vents or any sort of cooling. Okay then. Moving right along. Temperature. Stick you there and you there. there. What's the time? Uh, yeah, everybody's starving. 1900 hours, so that's 7 p.m.? Yeah, 7 p.m.? Uh, probably close enough for actually everybody to wake up and uh, shoot things. Because I need food. Even Sky's sleeping on Well, technically they're all sleeping on the ground. I really should put in floor. Call all this out. Don't really have a spot for junk. Um... Dumping ground. So this will be the perimeter. So it's basically uh, wall pillars for my uh, troops to hide behind. Sandbags, barricade or barricade sandbags. Probably barricade sandbags. And then turret, turret, space. Dumping zone.
Stop here because this isn't cut out yet. So turret, turret, space, zone, and it matches, and we're good. All right. So what do I want in this zone? First of all, no corpse. Just gonna have stone chunks and just stone chunks. It's as much to get rid of the stone chunks out of the base as it is as a defensive perimeter because much like the uh, sandbags and barricades it'll slow enemies down as they try to cross technically will slow everybody down as they try to cross oh look spare beds I'll probably just have like three rings of them in the past, I would have like a three square wide area of the dumping area, but only the first uh, line would actually slow people down. So. Also, harvest any and all berry bushes. I mean, any and all. Need munchies. Lots and lots of munchies. Not above scouring the entire map for food. Right, I think that's all. <laughs> I think my plan was to have some power down here. Or up here, but uh, this one's here because this is with the geothermal plant and this is where the geyser was. And uh, my Labrador Retrievers are starting to die. Very sad, I know. But, um... Well, it's death. Death feeds the others. it's now fire because it's a rainy thunderstorm so the rain should put that out and there are cargo pods hopefully they have food they do not have food in fact actually no they do have milk Except it's in the other spot, but they are also hungry. Bowman is no longer inspired. And Chief has flown into a murderous rage. He's decided to kill Sky. Okay then, fine. Everybody wake up. Punch him. Except Sky, where is Sky? There is Sky. Sky stays in here. Okay, so they killed him. That was not part of the plan. All right, let's try this again. You install here. You install here. Everybody wakes up and does things. 
Oh, so I need to put that zone back in. Alright, that bit's done. Doesn't mean no uh, carver pot is filled with milk. At least not yet, but I don't think that's going to happen now. Uh, in the meantime... Wake up, you. Or not. Alright, so everybody... Everybody else who isn't asleep. Let's go kill some rhinoceroses. Also, every berry bush we can find. Alright, let's do something stupid. Shoot that. This one. And this one. And Labrador 5 still starved to death. So we just ain't that fast. Fine, we'll get closer and then shoot it. Happy? Keep shooting it. You should probably not be in the way. And now it's dead. Okay. Draft everybody. Now wondering about the days. Not use. Sometimes some some things just get on my nerves. Anyway. Move that into storage, even though storage is technically on, um, yeah, everybody's starving now. Anyway, back at the old base, Tarragon has given birth. Who is Tarragon? The Labrador. So, one Labrador dies, and I guess I get a few more. Okay. And Chief has become catatonic. I guess that beats um, trying to kill people, and then getting beaten to death because of it. Hey, you is pregnant. Oh, 
goody. As is Lincoln. Still missing a bedroll somewhere. And Sky is now going about in a daze. Okay, fine then. Lincoln and Chief need rescue. gotten food poisoning because why not she's also suffering from dementia and still has moderate toxic buildup I have 148 sheep roll uh, sheep wall need two more bed rolls Right, and who's the builder here? I know Ophelia's the cook. Probably gonna be like Lincoln. Nope. I mean, he can, but nope. I mean, Sky can build things. Yeah, it's pretty much just Lincoln and Sky. Okay. Bowman's once again no longer inspired. So what's this red thing around the uh, Labrador? But no, that's just some chem fuel. Uh, Labrador Retriever number six is currently sleeping on top of. I like how no one's rescued uh, Lincoln yet. Of course, everybody's technically asleep. So you know what? Let's at least get him inside. As I select the one person who's currently unconscious. You rescue him. Yoko lacks a uh, weapon. There's Chief's charge rifle. That's in more shape. Now, right, where's Sky? Still technically in... the fridge. Alright, so who's close enough that he actually can, that uh, they actually can walk? You rescue her. Husky number three has died. Oh, darn. That irks me. This place technically doesn't have any food either. There's even a warg. 
Right, hunt these deer, and this hare, and these rats, and squirrels. Give the donkeys and uh, the wild boar for the war. Last thing I need is the work to start eating my people. in here? I did not know that. I'm gonna lose all my dogs, aren't I? The colonist needs rescue. And, uh. She's always needed. A psychic a piece of ancient ship has crashed nearby. Colonists feel in the back of the mind, exhorting unspeakable acts. Uh, it must have, uh, have an onboard machine persona with psychic projection ability. Sonar is not friendly. Destroy as soon as possible. We worry. We'll probably defend itself. Okay then. And of course, it drops with some mechanoids nearby. So that makes perfect sense, and I'm fresh out of artillery. Alright, well, it's currently raining, so. Guessing the fires will eventually go out. She needs to. Ra she needs a ranged weapon because she's finally up and at him. Uh, I don't think I actually have spare ranged weapons. Oh look, another bedroll. Do I have any other bedrolls in here? Does not look like it, okay. I'm gonna have to deal with that ship sooner rather than later, so you grab this charge rifle. And I lose yet another Labrador. One problem with having this many animals. And Blue is throwing a tantrum. Hyperweave bedroll. No, she is not. Okay, you. We attack. We attack her. And of course she manages to break it before he manages to, well, take her out. her. Tater has given up on this community. Assertion is not allowed even though everybody's asleep.
Will you? Wrong one, you stupid idiots. After that, you can pick up a weapon. Tater is no longer a cape. Tato plant died. I equip the charge rifle. Assuming these guys are fine, I'm not actually receiving any alerts about them. Herbal medicine is, is uh, routed away. Okay then. Right, Jed is no longer in a psychotic state. It's Tater that tried to leave. Go equip your weapon again. this. Alright, anybody not currently lying on their side? We have a ship to take care of. Everybody form up. Because I think that's the official military term. Alright, where's this ship again? Over this one. And Lincoln died in tantrum, and uh, Blue's not having a tantrum. And then just drop all the hay. Just empty out every one of these animals with stuff. like cloth and whatnot anyway. Oh, there's actually a battery in here. Okay. And <laughs> they still had an extra bedroll. That's some food I didn't get to eat. Alright, so you feed Lincoln. And Labrador Retriever 1 has died again for the first time. So it's after this uh, ship piece has crashed. Now, rather than doing that, how about you pick up your rifle? Uh, you work on the bedroll. has died from rotting. Hmm. Okay then. There's one problem with having multiple bases. You can never remember which one actually is which. Working on the bedroll so we have a place to sleep. Ok, 
Everybody good now? Everybody at least had something to eat. Yeah, close enough for now. Still need to deal with that ship, so... Everybody over this way. Over this way. Keep going, keep going. Shoot that. Everybody misses. Everybody starts taking fire. Everybody hides behind this wall. Okay, so what are we looking at right now? Yoko's been injured. Sky is... been hit, but... not in any... issue. Uh, Minoka, however, has eight hours to live, so... Minoka's being undrafted. Minoka's going back here. else move, presses on. Are they all dead? Yes, they are. Okay, everybody but Sky, who's also heading back. Goes here. And shoots this. Okay, so Minoka is still on her way. Okay, ship has been destroyed. In the case everybody else undrafts and goes about their business. Where is Sky? Sky's over here. Just going to undraft. Tend to Minoka first, because she is going to be dead in six hours. And Sky is now confused because the game said so. Meanwhile, Minoka, I guess, has collapsed. Who's the next best doctor? Tater, I guess. Okay, fine then. Tater. Uh, prioritize tending to her. What happened? Lou is having another tantrum. Just punch her. Stallion Revenge. So Stallion has gotten very angry at being sh angry at being shot at. Okay then. He will be so kind as to knock her out before she breaks a bed.
Go this way. Alright, fine. Where'd blue go? Back down this way, we gotta save Ophelia. And she's down. Okay then. Just attack the dang horse. That ship is still, yeah, that ship is still intact. Alright, let's try this again. Something tells me I'm not going to get a better outcome than I did last time. Just call it a hunch. Oh, and Blue's now in a day, so rather than having nine people, we reload. Colony's in danger. Throw up on your own time. Game knows this and is trying to take away my, uh, people. Chunks of spacecraft have fallen nearby. At the other base that I'm currently in the process of just simply ignoring right now. Two down. Should hide in these trees. Right. Hercules took a hit. Where did Hercules take a hit? In the head. But he's not bleeding, so he should be fine. Attack this thing. Right, that one's dead. Cannot hit target. Let's move between... Let's get the psychic chunk between us and it. That's dead, since we're all right here. Shoot that. And, uh, attack. Alright, we managed to pull that one off actually better than we did last time. The only one who actually took a hit was, um, Hercules. But, uh, he's only bruised, so... No medical drama. We're good. And now Minoka has uh, fallen into a daze. Which I'm fine with for right now, actually, truth be told. With all the other craziness that's happened so far this playthrough, I'm actually fine with just wandering about in a daze for right now. Not 
with these deer as well. Oh, and Stanislav and Yoko finally decided to get married. Goody. And Blue Spell suffering from a major break risk. But at least they haven't gone psychotic yet again and tried to kill everybody. Even though it's a risk. Let's actually send out a caravan. Back to Antioch to pick up more supplies. Right, so, and the risk is, is that I'm taking Blue. Because she's close to having a mental breakdown. Again. So it'll be Jet and Blue. Uh, Lincoln and Chief are unconscious. Taters, the... Uh, Keep Tater and Sky because they're medics, and Hercules, I guess, is the closest guy to actually building anything. And as for pack mules, donkey, tank, the yak. I don't really have much in the way of travel supplies, but um. Take 200 hay. No, don't send it, take any hay. Just gather the animals and get moving. Because it's relatively close. They should be able to forge out on their own. And Blue has gone on an insulting spray, which is what I was afraid of. So. Let's just cancel the caravan and then reform it. So in its place, I'm going to have Jet and Tater go. And if they would be so kind as just to simply up and leave right now. And they're away. Okay, so I have a new quest from who knows who where. Alright, so a mighty edifice. A mysterious message has arrived, seems transmitted by a machine persona that refuses to name itself. The message asks you for to build a very specific monument. Mine must be 18 by 10 in size and require these resources. I can't read anymore. Money must be 18 by 10 in size and require these resources. Total of $801 of value. Any metallic, woody, or stony uh, of 410 units. Any of sandstone blocks, granite blocks, uh, limestone blocks, slate blocks, and marble blocks consisting of 480 units. Construction must be completed in 23 days so of accepting the task. See the rewards if you finish construction. When I can get one of three options. 174 gold and 75 plasteel. A uh, skill trainer for crafting, a tech proof sub persona core, a small AI core housing, a low grade sub persona specialized in teaching technology. Use the AI to teach you the technology you're currently researching instantly and for free. Can only be used once. And then 663 silver or three tech prints consisting of compact weaponry, brain wiring, and poison synthesis. It has to be done at Antioch, which... Do we even have that much resources? I mean, let's be honest. I've been just, like, stockpiling everything. Of course I have that much resources. Let's look at research. 
So I don't have the tech prints for any of the for either brain wiring, compact weaponry, or poison synthesis. Brain wiring craft brain implants that induce or prevent uh, blunt sensations like joy or pain. Tech prints are available from these factions via trade and quests. Uh, compact weaponry is craft compact concealable bionic weapons. Yeah, bionic weapons that can be embedded in various body parts. And uh, poison synthesis is craft bionics that synthesize venom from internal chemical re uh, reactors uh, fusing toxifying attacks. Okay. So basically, the ability to make people not happy or sad, uh, the ability to basically hide blades and other weapons in various body parts, and the ability to spit poison. Tech prints are actually kind of hard to come by, and I'm actually tempted to build that. I'm not quite certain... Who's the builder here? Shinto, I guess, is the builder. Now, you think I would know who does what, given how many episodes of this I've played. Although, to be fair, I do play this maybe once a month, so who knows. So, I look at the quest. It doesn't say it has to be intact for X number of days. Just that I have to build it. It must be complete within 23 days of accepting the task. Again, does not say I need to actually build the, uh, protect the thing, or keep it intact for who knows how long. Of course, for all I know, since it's an AI, since it's uh, possibly an a machine AI, it's probably just like a, a beacon or some sort of you know, like landing coordinates or something in orbit to drop on my colony. But as complex and crazy as the game gets, I don't think it's that complex. So you know what? Let's try it. Try it. We'll accept it for the tech prints. Pods have arrived. Just arrived. Okay. We need a monument marker. Actually, put it way out here. You know what? Is there a place that doesn't have very many trees or anything in the way. Burn trees. So. Let's actually put it out here. Less stuff they gotta clear means less. Um, and chief is starving. And there's also a solar flare, so now... I guess it's a good thing we're working on a fire. We're working with a fire, because... still insulting people. They're hunting things. They're still asleep. Colonists need treatment because Blue and Hercules have decided to start fighting it out. But at least they're slightly fine. Okay, so both bases are being affected by the solar flare. Tater's caravan has run out of food. Well, they didn't have any food to begin with, so I guess that makes sense. On the plus side, they're now at Antioch, so there's that. So I guess I actually have to, now that the blueprint's been placed, I guess I actually have to put it down. Um, 
So what do I have the most of? Get the most out of limestone blocks. I guess we're building the whole entire thing out of limestone. Stone wall. Shinto start working on that. But Dato and Jet are back, so that's good, I guess. Alright. I guess the solar flare is done. Just uh, suspend this bow for right now. So a group of travelers from Lehane Federation are passing by and cloth has deteriorated away in storage because they have yet to actually put a roof over this thing. This massive, massive stockpile that I have. In the meantime... Now that you guys are, well, here now, let's head back. So form caravan, head back. Except so it'll be once again Jet and Stanislav, not Stanislav, Jet and Tater, and every pack meal I brought along with me. Alright, and in terms of what they're taking, because they came here to specifically take stuff, I'll take the Plasteel. Where is... I could have sworn I had a uh, wood fueled uh, kitchen. I guess not. I'm not actually seeing it here. Is it already at the other? We gotta just simply search things. Sadly, I cannot. Jose, I could have sworn I still had a fueled, um. stove somewhere. Got a couple of beds and some tables. Oh, that's annoying. So let this one electric or fueled? It's the electric stove. Right, I guess we they don't have a uh, fueled stove in storage. In that case, production. It's a smithy. Basin. Where are electric stove? Stick you there. And who's the closest person to the builder here? Well, that's still here, I guess. I guess Sky is technically closest, so. 
Let her feed a simple metal Hercules and then she builds the stove. And then Yoko. And then Lincoln. And then Blue. Just feeding meals to everybody, isn't she? Major break risk. Yoko is having a major break risk. Well, can't be helped right now. Now that everybody's fed, let's have her build the stove. Meantime... I mean, I actually sent this caravan specifically to pick up the stove. The field stove, but... Oh well. Guess the hole in more supplies then. Alright, so they had a whole bunch of cloth the last time, so again, let us take uh, plas that's uranium, plasteel, you know what, I don't really need the furniture, uh, but let's take it anyway. Let's take all the spare weapons. You know what, let's not take all the spare weapons. I don't have the armory built yet. A random charge rifle right here. I'll take 1500 wood. As much steel as they can carry. Send that out. And Yoko's no wandering about in a daze. Right, forget about that charge rifle. He's going back for it, right? All this hay grass is just blighted. Alright. Milk is no longer wandering around. Didn't see what Chief was doing. At least this time the horses didn't go in a frenzy. Okay, so it needs two tables. Where exactly? So it needs a table and a sarcophagus. So that's what those things were. So I guess it's some kind of monument. Well, a burial monument, I guess. Do I really want to know to who? But you know what? How much time do I got left on this? 22 days, so... I mean, he's got part of a wall built, chunk of floor, he should... Provided there's no nothing crazy going to happen. He should be able to... I like how... Like, I still have the old barn, but all the animals in the caravan are just sleeping out here. Ok, 
again the animals are starving all right um need a butchering table I'll just put it no let's put it right here Sleep for right now. It's actually freezing. Interesting. And people are starving. Lincoln's actually starving once again. Alright, and Tater's caravan is now on its way back to Cheslin. Has been apparent for quite some time because they're all practically back. And they've returned. And they finished re and Bowman's finished researching medical production. Medical production. Medicine production. So now we can make medicine. Goody. So what else do I want? Well, let's get look, working on auto gun turrets, or auto cannon turrets, I should say. To add to the defensive capabilities of, uh, well, somewhere. God knows where. Who knows? I'm not paying attention anymore. Probably should, though. And everybody's asleep. Okay, then. Part of me just wants to just unpack everything just right here, but probably a bad idea to do that. On the plus side, we now have some rice, which the uh, animals are well eating. This is better than nothing. And there's now a stallion revenge. Two. Yes, Tater. Oh, well, he's down. So there's that. So there's still pretty much chaos going on in both forts. More stallion revenge. This time the entire herd's going after Ophelia again. So you know what? Let's uh, run back while they're still not attacking her. I said run back. In the, uh, by a horse, but other than that, everybody seems to be fine. Started retraining the animals, and uh, now there's a dry thunderstorm because why not? Hopefully, it doesn't like the chem fuel that's just sitting out on fire. Uh, I got problems with this game. Lots and lots of problems with this game, but you know what? That's all going to be another issue for another time because i'm going to call it here everybody stay safe from the plague and um have a good day <laughs>